welcome. Check the description box below in your YouTube player for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about the sound tools I'm using today, and links to other goodies on my Patreon page. Continuing. All right, the opening pretty little intro is really E flat. Do, do, and then what's that, D minor? And then C minor, and then F. So, so I'm gonna begin Hendrix fine things. So there's an E flat there at six and eights. So yeah, I am assuming a good degree of knowledge of chords and inversions uh, for this lesson. So I'm hammering on there, I am on, that is the G string, eighth fret, sixth fret on that B. There's my first Hendrix move. And then another Hendrix move again. Here's an E flat here. Again, same thing. So I wanted that melody note up top, that's why I moved up. That is eight, or sorry, that is 10 to 12 with 11 up there. And then, yeah, the, trying to get that, those, what is that? Are those oohs? Yeah, they're oohs on the recording. He's got great backup singers on that recording. That is 15 and 15, so you got. I might tag that 13, still all E flat. Here comes the D minor with the little melody. So that is 12, 10, 10. Melody notes up top on this 13. 13, 11, 10, and back up. And then a little, a vaguely Hendrix slash Curtis Mayfield little fill in there. So I'm still thinking this area here, pentatonic, hammer, pretty hammer-ons, tens and twelves. There it is. And then I know I'm trying to get up octaves on those Ds there, so I'm going to slide forward from that 10 on the D string and get that, t you know, 12, 15. Yep, and I don't know if you can see, hybrid picked. Here, <laughs> if I rotate that way, you might be able to see. All right. And then, what am I doing? More notes is what I'm doing. So here's our um, C minor, yeah, there he is, 10, and it's eights, there's that melody up top, um, 10, or, yeah, 8, 11, off, back, on, very Hendrix slash Curtis Mayfield fill here, that's, you know, hey, if you leave this here, I'll talk. If you leave this video with one cool new trick, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. So that is, if that's C minor, there's that pentatonic, our blues scale. I hear Hendrix do that often. So hammer on, pull off, and then sweep picking. <laughs> and then, I'm just kind of harmonizing that, what we got there. 12, skip a string. Hey, look, it's a sixth. 12 and 11. 10 and 10, because there's, hey, look, there's an F chord. And then, yeah, sixth fret there, an F, and then a little sus4 note, which is really eight, eight going down to seven. And somehow my intonation's not great on it, but why is that? Oh, that sounds okay. Now, our verse groove, G minor, down to F. I'm gonna put my C minor way up here, well, or this, no, yeah, I'm thinking this one. And I'm gonna put the next F here. Those are the shapes I'm playing around with. So, thumb it, G minor arpeggio. Look, there's a G minor chord. Five, five, three, five. There's our melody note, our seventh fret, our D on that G. There you go, octaves. So this is a B flat, which is a chord tone of G minor, so I can do that. You know, that's six and eight. 
drop it way down to Fs. And the F is the melody, which, hey, look, there's an F chord. So he is actually singing, you know, around the chord tones, which is common. So I'm going to boom. So five and six. So seven and back. And that is tis a tenth fret there on my, my G, because that's the melody note, kind of. I used this chord in actually the last song I did with this. I used that in my version of Nothing Compares to You. So it's like a G minor arpeggio with a C in the bass. That is 8, 10, 8, 7. Another little fiddly do. I love those. So that is, you know, hammer. You know, there's blues. That's 8 and 10. And just grab. 8 and 8 there of, of the G and the B, and then that little bit there. So that is, you know, kind of on my C headed towards an F. Hey, look, here's an F right here. What's up? Yeah, so flat on those two tens. Hammer on with the pinky. Let them ring. Pull the pinky back. Walk it down an F, you know, major pentatonic. A, no, 10, A. Go around again. Only difference is that time instead of tagging the, those two tones of the C minor 7 chord, I tag the G and the B flat, the 12 and the 11, but you know, just to, just to be neat. The chorus. <laughs> so the chorus is gonna be E flat. In my heart, in my cold heart, G minor, I can leave da 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 E flat, and then it goes, and then that cool C minor, there's a neat song. Okay, let's look how I stack what I can of the backups with the lead singing to make Fender-y Jimi Hendrix arrangement. So, sixth fret there on my root for my E-flat. But I'm already thinking E-flat major 7 because that's, well, that's what they're doing. He's singing that. The backups are up there. So it's 7, 8... Just back her up. Three and three there. Makes sense because there's a G minor. Oh, yeah. When it comes back, yeah, they, this, the backups only get to this F and he goes like that. So you got. You know, tag a G down there. There's that same thing again. And then that's, you know, my copying his lovely singing. You, know, you can see it's kind of a blues line. Eight, six, seven, and then like you slide back into the seven, five, eight. Goes around again. And then here comes our C. So I thumb that C, that eighth fret. 10 and 10, skip that middle one. And was that eight and seven? And there's that little, kind of that blues area, really. Eight, six, seven, leave him there, pop. That sixth fret up there, and walk it down. Harmonized, sixth is is. Seven, six, five, five, three, three. Then the song's gonna drop to an F. So yeah, I'm just thinking that F, you know, just F shape here. Watch that melody note there on that B string. So you gotta kinda be clever about how you pick it. No 
notice I'm actually going up. This chord was cool, like this like kind of swell of vocals. Because there's the C minor. Really, it's a C minor sus or C sus four when they hit it at that point. So you go three, mute it out, zero, one, one. Bring that melody note back in, three, oh, and then back to the F thing. F inversions. I walk those up, so we got, you know, there's the first one, seven, five, six. Really an F sus two, that is eight, eight, sorry, 10, 10, eight, and then another F sus two. Uh, way up there, what is that though? 15, 12, uh, 13. And then I take an Eric Haugen solo. Okay, so I'm on the G minor. And this is like, honestly, it has a little bit of like a Nels Klein impossible Germany feel, the way it's like a couple of notes and it just stays there. So yeah, pull off. I don't even know what fret that is. 15, 17, 18. You can see what I'm doing. And then it goes to F, so I'm like, oh, where's my F? You know, uh, there he is, so I'm thinking. Yeah, you know, just playing to the chord tones. Like, like a rock player. Not like a jazz player, though. Because I can't do that. So yeah, you can see I'm, what is that? Oh, 17, 15, 14. Back it up. And here comes our C minor slash C sus4. So I'm tagging 13, 13, because C. There he is. So yeah, uh, what am I doing? 13. Yeah, that's still like a, making a C minor 9 at that point. Hold on. Nice chord. Uh, that's, you know, you can see the staircase shape there. 12, 13, 10. Here comes an F. Yep, because there's F, and then I know this Nashville slash Jimi Hendrix trick where I'm flat at the eighths. Here comes a G minor run. Neat, what is that? I don't even know what that is. So this is an interesting position of pentatonic minor, by the way. Here's G, right? Yeah, it's a caged position. It's considered the C shape. So that's why I do a, I'm not gonna say these, look, just, just watch. And then I'm gonna yeah, switch back to G minor, but really there's an A tone, right? A is the third of F, booyah. There's F. And then I know that I'm, you know, back to that cool C minor chord, so I'm like, uh. Just doing anything but staying on the chord, the proper chord tones of it, because they're, they're just, that's not what they're doing. They're, they're letting things really be, um, you know, sustained and, and uh, floaty on that. So yeah, that's what I do. And I know I end with a, you know, just going down a G minor scale. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Michael Kiwanuka, what a great artist. He has a new record out. It's really good. I've been listening to it all month. And what else do I want to say about this song? Okay, practicing these Hendrixy arrangements. Take them piece by piece. There's an intro. Work on the intro for a week. There's a verse. Work on the verse for a week. There's a chorus. Work on that separately. Then there's kind of a solo. And that being said, so there's, there's a month of work right there. If you find one particular lick that you really like, well, shoot, just work on that. Because, um, yeah, unless you're going to start, uh, 
a Michael Kiwanuka Hendrix style cover band, there's not really a need for you to play these things exactly as I did, nor is there a need for me to play them exactly as I did. It's more about trying to inspire you to see some different chord forms, some different fill options, some different ways of moving around. And so if light bulbs go off, follow those. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.